it's going to be one of those winter ones where, yeah, I'm losing a voice. You've partly lost a voice. Mm. So yeah, hello everyone, and uh, yeah, <laughs> almost. Oh, there you go. Right on cue. <clears throat> There we, oh, there we are, yeah, apologies <laughs> for probably coughing and probably fireworks as well. Oh yeah, it was fireworks day yesterday. Uh, two days ago. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the days anymore. It's the 7th They've just today. been going off every night, it doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Yeah, they, they've been going off since Saturday here, so yeah, I would think they'll probably go off until the weekend. Yeah, oh well. And then more on the weekend, yay. Yeah, woohoo. Yeah. They're in celebration of us recording tonight. That's what they're setting them off for. To be fair, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, it it (laughs) It makes sense. Delayed yearly celebrations, that's what it was. Exactly. This is act- yeah. They all got confused because this is actually number twenty six, so they thought this yeah, was the year. But, uh... Exactly. That's that's <clears throat> exactly what the reasoning is. There's no other reason for it. Exactly, which means if we hear them, it must be fine. Yep. Everything yep, is exactly. fine. <laughs> How have you been anyway with your uh, technological <laughs> difficulties? Um. Yeah, it's been a bit meh. We're kind of in now. Um. I'm hoping at some point, in fact it might even already be on the channel, there might be a little video already of just me trying to get back into normal discussion type videos. Um, So I'm hoping, because I haven't even recorded it yet, so I'm hoping that everything goes all nice and smooth and that the laptop can cope with editing it. Um, So that might be a thing. Okay. But failing that, there definitely should have been at least a stream by now as well, in terms of as you're listening to this. Okay, well that's good then. Mm. <coughs> Would that be on yes. Friday? Um, it will probably be on Saturday, to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah, during the day on the Saturday. But either way, it's there for you all to go and enjoy. I, it. I Not... very much hope so, yeah. Everything yeah. is set up in the room and working. So there's no reason why it shouldn't stream, he says. <laughs> he says hopefully. Yeah, he says hopefully, but we'll, we, we, yeah. we shall see. If not, then I'm afraid everyone's just going to have to wait every fortnight to hear my croaky, dulcet tones. Indeed, and if it is there, then wait half an hour, listen to this, and then go and watch it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or or you hopefully watch it, you've already watch watched it. And come it. Back. Yeah, yeah, hopefully you've already watched it on the Saturday. Either way. Maybe. That sounds all right. At least yeah. something's happening in the uh, mapless world of uh, pixels and pinfalls. Exactly, yeah. We'll, we'll try and keep some kind of ball rolling, at least. Yeah. We'll just Which is more than others would do, so that's good. Yeah, well, I don't... Just trying to kind of keep any momentum going. What is quite nice... To anyone who is listening to this as a subscriber, it's nice that I haven't actually lost any subscribers. I realise I'm so tempting fate saying that, but <laughs> as of the recording of this, I appreciate, obviously, I don't have millions and millions of the damn things, which would be nice, but... Excuse That's me. Yeah. But at least everyone hasn't gone, ah, oh, well, screw this guy, unsubscribe. So thank you <laughs> for yeah. bearing with me. I can tell you exactly how many subscribers you've got. You've got 46. Yes, that is exactly the number I was hoping you were going to say. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that could have been embarrassing. Yeah. I seem to have uh, stagnated on... Oh, my God, I've got 40. I've got another one. Sorry, I was about hey. to say 39. Nice. Hey. Thank you, whoever you were. <laughs> well done. No idea, but yeah. You're our 40th subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I could do a competition. No, I couldn't. That's stupid. Uh, yeah. Well, 40, I've broke the 40 number. Well, actually, I got up to 40 and then went down to 37 uh, for some reason. Oh, that yeah. sucks. I went, yeah, I got up to 40, did the trailer and lost three subscribers and I thought, well, that's the opposite effect of what I wanted. For- <laughs> <laughs> that's not how trailers are meant to work. <laughs> that's not what's supposed to happen. Because, oh, you're doing it. Oh, no, is this what this is? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Run away. <laughs> exactly. But no, I, I've, uh, my, yeah, back up to 40. Hey, sorry. Hey, cool. That was a... Uh, Accidental brag. I genuinely thought that was going to be 39. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well. I think I've done mainly gameplay videos lately, so that's 
Yeah. Yeah, they do. Seem Although to we're currently been. in the midst of the top ten countdown. Yeah, what are we now? About six? Yeah, Sunday will um, be, he says, slowly calculating. <laughs> What's the date? <laughs> Nine. Right. Uh, uh, eight, seven, yeah, six. Sunday is six. Hey. Which, I, uh, I kind of yeah. half guessed that one, so I'll take that. Yeah. Which is, uh, yeah, good. Top ten, up to and including day of release. Nice. Which is annoying now that I've done that, because... It's as of today, well, as of Sunday, when you're listening to it, obviously, it's five days to go, but number six has been released, and I'm sort of annoyed that I did it that way now. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, because one isn't with one day to go, one is on no. the actual day. Yeah, it's just a bit annoying, just, just a personal thing, it's like, oh damn, that's annoying. Nah. <laughs> Eight days to go, here's number seven, or whatever it is. Yeah, like, well, yeah, numbers. Like, who cares? Yeah. You clearly. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been a <clears throat> mainly gameplay uh, recently. Did do my top five Hoenn Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Uh, should hopefully have another video coming up on Tuesday or Wednesday. Lovely. So that's all right. And um, then, as of the next weekend, I'm hoping to get another video done. So that I can sit back and enjoy the game. And then, as of like Monday onwards, this is like. Monday 18th onwards, um, do some Sword and Shield coverage of something. That I've, oh, you know. okay, <laughs> nice. So what, give yourself some actual time with it yeah. before you actually do Indeed, yeah. Stuff. I might ask, uh, I might ask um, Trevor to do a video yeah. over the next week so I've got something there. And then, Fair enough. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Uh, rather annoyingly, the Wednesday after the Friday release of Sword and Shield is a Master Trainer series oh, day, so no. we'll have that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't move those days. So the busiest day on your calendar. Yeah. So um, <laughs> mm-hmm. obviously you know Friday fifteenth Sword and Shield comes out, and in the fo- like the immediate Wednesday after that is when um my Master Trainers come out, of which I honestly cannot find the. Blooming lists of now. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, of which we'll have Abra, Line, Drowsy Line, and then Lickitung, Chansey, Porygon. Right. That might be a pain. Oh, God. Yeah, that sounds like that could be interesting. Uh, uh, why did I do that? Get, re- that? get recording what? on them already now. <laughs> yeah, why did I choose to do that one <laughs> that week? <laughs> Swap it round. What a book. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. So, yeah. We're only four batches of Master Trainers away from finishing the set. Oh, so close. So close. So close. So close. And then you get, get to, you get to do it all again with Sword and Shield. <laughs> I don't know what they've got installed. So. <laughs> but yes, uh, oh, yeah. Sword and Shield is coming out soon. Uh, How are you feeling about days. it? I'm very excited for it. It's five days away. <laughs> How many, a, how many yeah. days off work are you going to be? Just the day of release? <laughs> I've got the Friday and the following Monday off. Oh, good call. Not just to be nerdy and play the game, although I will obviously be doing that as well. Lies. <laughs> Friday is mainly game playing. <laughs> yeah. And then Thursday... Uh, Thursday? And then Saturday, Sunday, even more. Yeah. But um, I'm hoping also, even with the Monday off, to get some sort of video coverage done so I can do some capturing of gameplay of something to show people. Nice. Or, like, you know, opinions on it so far and have the game on and I can show you things. You know, that sort of thing. I'm hoping to yeah. get... Yeah, I see what yeah. you mean. So that should be good. Cool. So, yeah. Um, yeah, which <clears throat> sort of segues into what I was going to talk about today, really, which is literally just, hey, Sword and Shield are coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. Yeah, so way. I'm just... I'm, I'm going to limit myself to ten minutes. I've got a timer here. For ten minutes, and that's going to go off, and we're all going to hear it. So let's start that off. So when that goes off, I've got to stop talking about it. Fair enough. But yeah, um, that's out soon. Five days, and I'm very excited. It's going to be very good. Um, you can actually not download it, but you can like pre-order it online on the eShop at the moment. Oh uh, yeah, which... what and sort of pre-download it, and then it will stay locked until yes, release exactly. time. Yeah. Which brings with it data miners, yay! <clears throat> Who download, pre-download it, and then do all their technical wizardry and leak everything online, <laughs> of which I've managed to avoid so far. 
Oh, have you been actively avoiding them on purpose then? Yes. I think with Sun and Moon on Generation 7, they, uh, Game Freak and Pokemon Company, showed us a lot of information, like loads. And I don't know if people overly like that. So for this game, this generation, they've really not given away much, to be honest. Hmm. They've told us about 20 Pokemon, which... If you're comparing to the numbers of the last two generations, it's about a quarter of all the Pokemon that they've made, which is remarkable, really, <clears throat> to only show a quarter of their Pokemon. They haven't even shown us what the starters evolve into or even their final evolutions either. Oh, no. Which is something they really do pretty much every single time. Yeah. They show, like That's their, one of their biggest selling points, really. And they haven't shown us that at all. <clears throat> As of time of recording this on Thursday, who knows what the next eight days have got in store. You never know. Well, here's an interesting theory. What if they none of them evolve? Ooh, that could be good. That'd be interesting. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past them to do something crazy like that, though. Has that ever happened before? Um, <clears throat> no, only in yellow when you get a Pikachu and it doesn't oh, let you evolve Oh, when it refuses it. to evolve, yeah. Yeah. But, but you can, that, no. it is physically possible to evolve a Pikachu. Yeah. Yes, an actual, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Hmm. hmm. Haven't thought of that. <clears throat> but yeah, as of now, I've managed to avoid all spoilers so far because I thought, well, I'm going to stick to what Game Freak and the Pokemon Company officially announced themselves. Yeah. I'm just going by that. Yeah. And so far, they've released very little information. I've got no idea what the story of this game is. I haven't even got a single town name, like not one. <clears throat> um, they haven't said what the types of the legendaries are or anything to do with them except their name and what they look like. That's it. So I'm quite happy that there's very little information. Yeah, it kind of feels very old school in that respect yeah. where you can just actually enjoy the game for what it is and be genuinely kind of amazed and surprised and when things happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When I see a new Pokemon, like if I go battle someone and they've got a Pokemon I've never heard of, and they'll be like, this is great. Because <laughs> mm. then I'll also not know what type they are, what moves they have, everything. Yeah, anything, exactly. So know? the first few times you face them, you really are kind of groping in the dark with it. Yeah. Which is kind of how it yeah. should be. Exactly, and that's, oh, it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my brother will be getting it on release day, as will my other half, Tasha. She will also be getting it on release day. Are you getting different versions? Um, me and Tasha are, yeah. I can't. I don't know what my brother's getting, but obviously it's one of them. But yeah, no, me and Tasha are. I can't remember what one she's getting. Now, I think she's getting Shield because she wants Galarian Ponyta. Oh, uh, is that only on that one? I believe so. I'm now Googling, frantic Googling, live as we <laughs> record. Um, yeah, uh, do, 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 Galarian Ponyta for Shield. Yes, yeah, so she'll have Shield. Ha -ha, that I'll means have I'll sword. have it and Karina won't have it then because she wants <laughs> to get she wants to get sword because she prefers the look of um the what's his name with the sword? Oh um Zashian. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. I'll be stuck with Zamazenta. Yeah. I prefer Zamazenta really. I don't know if I'm with the whole sword in the mouth thing. Um it's all right. But, yeah, yeah, no, that bit. But uh, to be honest, I'm more attack based, and that one has yeah. got special attack, whereas the other one's got special defense, hasn't it? Yeah. So that's kind of was, and I think that's why she's picked it as well, because we're both yeah. very kind of gung ho when we play. So <laughs> <laughs> go go go! Attack! Attack! Yeah. Attack! Yeah. Yeah. I'll be I'll be honest. Playing all through all this Master Trainer series, it's made me really realize that there's a lot of tactical moves out there. If you you know you don't just have to line up your Pokemon with four attacking strong moves. I mean, well, yeah, I suppose, obviously I knew that was the case, but I yeah. never really looked into it. I suppose when now. you're stuck with a only, you can only be this Pokemon and you kind of negate each other, Yeah, you then have to be tactical about it. You can't just go, ah, I see you have a Ponyta, Blastoise, death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's made me think outside the box a lot of times, mm. especially because Let's Go has got a limited move set. And the Pokemons themselves have limited moves within those limited moves. And it's just like, you know, there's a yeah. tiny pool of moves that you can only use against the exact same Pokemon of the same type, which is obviously not great. Hmm. 
But yeah, that's no, good. Anyway, yes, no, sword, shield and stuff. That's, that's <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I yeah. sidetracked you. No, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, it's... I'll be getting it on release date. I think um, my other half, Tasha... <coughs> I should just call her Tasha. She's been on her channel enough. Um, she's going to start with Score Bunny. And my brother wants to start with Sobble. So I'm actually going to start with Grookey. So we're all going to have a different one. No, oh, that's quite cool. Yeah, that would be interesting. Because I'm going to use them all eventually, so I'm not overly bothered which one I'm doing first. And one you of know. you will be at a massive disadvantage at the first gym, and you haven't got a clue which one. Exactly. <laughs> I've got a feeling they're going to have a grass, fire, and norm and a water-type gym at some point. Oh, yeah, it's just which order. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I As think. Per, oh, so. I don't know. Yeah, it, oh, it's going to be good. <laughs> I'm looking forward to just the first sort of hour of it as well because they haven't shown us, like, the regional bird, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Like a, the equivalent of a Pidgey. They haven't yeah. shown us the regional bug, you know, like the equivalent of a Caterpie or a Weedle. Oh, OK, those kind of first few yeah. catches that you're likely to get, yeah. Are you shown, still convinced that Wooloo is effectively Rattata then? Yeah, I believe so. We've seen it in the um, in the trailers in like the early town where you meet your professor and everything. So I think it's fairly early on. It's going to be a they always have a normal type in there somewhere. Yeah. So I think it's going to be that. I don't know what it's going to evolve into though. Hmm. It's it's really unknown for like an early normal type to be that popular. It should kind of be a ram type, really, shouldn't it? With some horns, if yeah. it's a sheep. Realistically. Yeah, I think so. We'll see. I mean, it's probably online somewhere. If I Google it right now, I could probably find it, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's a good point. That is a very good point. I yeah. don't want to. I want it all to be fresh and new and lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's like sneaking into your parents' like cupboard to find out what they bought you for Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. It, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you don't no, want to do exactly that. That's exactly right. It's no. rubbish. I did it for Sun and Moon. I really covered that, and I looked into every single bit of information I could... Yeah. And it was fun. I don't regret that in the slightest. But for this one, no. <laughs> <laughs> I want it all to be brand new. I want to be... Oh, and I'm going to be playing it on a big telly. <laughs> Maybe not big telly, but a telly telly. Is that why I think... Or is that sort of why it's got that kind of special prominence then? Because it's the first one on a home yeah. console. Well, yeah, it's the first one on a home console... It's the first one I can do game capture of, a core series game. Oh, yeah. So the channel's going to be... I'm really looking forward to what it's going to bring for the channel. Like, really looking forward to it. Um, and oh, to put the cherry on the top of the cake, it's set in something based off the UK. <laughs> True, yeah. <laughs> it's the British. It's a game in the <laughs> British countryside. Oh, It's a Pokemon game set in the British countryside and you start in the southeast of the map. I mean, that's... Oh. <laughs> It's, it's like my life. Oh. In, yeah, incidentally, that's where we're situated. Yes, that is where we are. <laughs> oh, God, it's going to be great. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, yeah, it's... Just to go back on the whole channel thing again. Yeah, like it's the third... I know I can record Let's Go on here. But then, to get my own footage for Let's Go, I'm quite limited on what I can do, the Pokemon I can use, and like, you know... There's not too many features I can capture on Let's Go, apart from yeah. running around and battling... Are you still not too worried about the uh, national Pokedex thing? Because apparently no, it's no. going to be very, very small yeah, compared well, to what's... <laughs> so So as I understand it anyway, it's going to be rather limited. Yeah, well, not overly bothered. I'm someone who likes to use every Pokemon at, at least once. Mm. So there'll be enough Pokemon in here for me to use... Uh, you know, on many run-throughs up until the next game's released, really. Yeah. So it's it doesn't bother me. I know it bothers a lot of people, but I'm re I really don't care to be honest. Oh, Ooh, that sounds like ten minutes. Do, 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 do. There you <laughs> go. Yeah, no, I'm limiting myself. Otherwise, I will be here for like an hour. So well, right, just along that line, my only hope is it's really obvious for people like me what generation any of them are from. Yeah. Because obviously all of them are going to be new to me. Yes, good point. Apart from the few Gen 1 ones. So how I, I, I hope it's obvious for me to go, oh, okay, this isn't one that I could have played on, like, um, Sun and Moon or 
yeah. or whatever. X and Y or black or white. Or yeah, green. exactly. So I'm hoping there is some kind of obvious distinction there. Yeah, there should hopefully be. <clears throat> I mean, they'll have a they'll have a Galadex number, I assume, and then they'll have a national number. Even though oh, there's no okay. national dex, they should then have a national number. So, right. if the national number is more than eight hundred and seven, it's a new Pokemon. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So that will be the easiest way of working that out. Yeah, I would oh, say so. Cool. That's handy. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough from me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a drink of black carrot squash, and I'll let you. Good call. I'll, I'll let you take the reins. Ah, oh, you're gonna let me rag on Death Stranding even more, are you? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's out now, isn't it? Uh, you know, as of on release Sunday, of this yeah. video, yes. It technically yeah. isn't out yet, unless you're in the Australia. future. Yeah, in Australia or Japan, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Out on the 8th. And, uh, well, as you put it when we were chatting during the week, Royal Mail the game. Yes. <laughs> Royal oh. Mail, the game. Go over yeah. here, collect this item, drop it here, and talk to this guy. Basically, talk yeah. Him. Talk to Conan O'Brien for some reason because he's in the game. <laughs> talk to Jeff Keeley because he's friends with Kojima, so we put him in the game. Why? <laughs> what is does that, this? Does that the, not make sense then? Well, Jeff Keeley is just a guy that does, um, like, he hosts um, stuff like Gaming Wards things like oh, that okay. he's just yeah. a, a kind of a, a gaming journalist who happens to be very good friends with the person who has created this game right. so of course okay. he put him in there randomly for reasons <laughs> of course yeah it's just uh, it's it's kind of harping back to that thing that I've, I've said a couple of times before is, is the more layers get peeled back off this game it's showing less and less underneath itself Right, okay. It's become <laughs> less and less intriguing as the years have gone on. It was a game that I was very, very interested in when you saw the first kind of teaser trailers and then you yeah. saw a few of the characters being introduced. And I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of what he does best. Um, these, these kind of grandiose type characters in these spectacular sort of um, worlds. So like, the more you saw of it, the more you realised, oh, this is what you're doing. Well, ever <laughs> since they really kind of started pushing the gameplay element, it is literally just man with FedEx box walking <laughs> in Scotland with an extendable ladder <laughs> making Roman deliveries. Roman readers with FedEx box. Basically, yeah. And then every now and then there'll be a person in a hovel living on their own because the world is supposed to have kind of fractured and and basically as far as i can tell the, the point of the game is to try and reconnect society which sounds like a really good concept and i really really hope that once you've done a few of these deliveries at the beginning it opens up to something else but right, as yeah. far as what I've read and as far as what I've been told by people that have had kind of advanced copies of it, that just keeps perpetually going throughout the game. And yes, right, they add okay. kind of extra mechanics to it and extra levels of difficulty to it, but you're adding mechanics to delivering a box to a bloke. <laughs> that is literally what you're doing. Yeah, and I mean, we've all played kind of Skyrim type open world games what yes, are the definitely. worst most annoying quests in those games <laughs> go and do a thing and come back to me yeah <laughs> pointless fetch quests oh yeah. please this is a letter for the man on in the other side of the map can you please deliver this to him and then you manage to get over there and then he says oh thank you here is the reply please take it back to the person that you, where you started this from or please go to this random part of the world and collect a thing because I need it for reasons. <laughs> yeah, it's it's especially with games that can like fast travel even now. Mm. Well, I, sort of like, I, I go think over here. there's very much not going to be that element to this from what I can tell. Right, okay. And what they have tried to do is make it so that the experience feels realistic. 
Okay. Which means you're going to get realistic hiking in a game. Realistic hiking. Whee! Yeah, so it feels different when you're kind of wading through a shallow river as to when you're walking across kind of snow-covered land and you're getting stuck in the snow. It's like, right? I mean, that's technically that's very clever, but do I care? Is that a case of, like, no one asked for this? Why are you doing it? Yeah, but the reviews have gone one of two ways. They've either right. gone, oh, my God, what the hell is this game? Why am I delivering FedEx packages? What What? What is going on? <laughs> They're or, not actual FedEx packages, are they? No, I don't believe so, <laughs> no. I don't They're actually really... know what they are, whether they do differ or whether you're delivering this same thing from person to person or not. Yeah. Um, or whether you are literally just the guy who works for Deliveroo. And Which you're, would be interesting. Yeah, and you're delivering a Chinese <laughs> takeaway to some guy in Harville. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that Depends could be... The... <laughs> yeah, that could be interesting. I'm sure if you search hard enough, that probably is a game already. Yeah, or it will come out um, after the fact as DLC. <laughs> is it not just like Paperboy 2K19? Uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, although you don't always yeah. get the bicycle. Although I think there are vehicles in it. Just not as good kind of because Paperboy was, was a legend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he got to throw pa uh, papers into your window and smash your window. Yes, he did. And annoy, the, n annoy people in the neighbourhood. But yeah, the, <laughs> other, the other side of it is perfect score, 10 out of 10, 100%. Wow. Oh my God, this is the best game in the history of gaming. Not a bad word to be said. Kojima's a genius. He can do no wrong. And I hate that mentality anyway. <laughs> of, yeah, he did that good game once. Therefore, every single game afterwards can be absolute dirt. But we'll say it's brilliant because it was made by the same person. <laughs> Which just seems backwards. Well, it... it it It's completely illogical. It's like, yeah, okay, he made a good game in Metal Gear Solid 1 after arguably what is still probably one of the best 8-bit games in Metal Gear 2. He effectively just remade the game in 3D, so he didn't really have to do that much extra. Metal Gear Solid 2 was panned at the time and has only really been kind of appreciated within the last 10 years, kind of yeah. more on a meta level. The third one was very, very good gameplay and storytelling. And it was kind of... Because it allowed itself to be cheesy and like a Bond film, people just kind of went with it and it worked. And then the fourth one was just cutscenes, the game. <laughs> um, and then the fifth one was, oh, we put all the story in the last game, so there's no story in this game. Bye. End. So you're on your own. <laughs> yeah. And and so it's it's not like it's been home run after home run after home run to use a American sports analogy for no reason. Sports, go sports. Yeah, go the whatever one that was. <laughs> Hockey. <laughs> yes. Go the NFL. Yeah, but you know what I mean. It's not like yeah. it's been perfect game after perfect game, and oh my god, yeah, everything. The, this guy does. Bearing in mind they were all games within the same franchise, they yeah. weren't even like five completely different new games from each other. Yeah, there were a couple of other ones peppered in in the 90s, but that's kind of... They don't get spoken about much. I wonder why. And The 90s was a golden... Yeah. <laughs> and, and, yeah, then this kind of gets all this fanfare of, oh, my God, it's the best game ever in the whole history of gaming. I'm like, well, I kind of doubt that, to be honest. I don't see how anything can ever be 100% anyway. No. Like, even my most favourite games or films or albums or whatever, there's always going to be some kind of element that could be tweaked or adapted or changed or evolved or something removed that maybe shouldn't have been there, that nothing is perfect. No, I agree with you on that. Like, it could be a 90 or maybe a 95 at best, maybe, if it's nearly perfect, but... That's if it is good. Yeah, it's... it. Usually in the gaming world, it's kind of... If you're hitting sort of 85, then it's considered a Game of the Year candidate. 
Yeah. And yeah, there's, there's so, been so many kind of perfect scores come out for it, and just the review is basically, oh my god, K- Kojima's done it again. He's amazing. He's a genius. This guy can do no wrong. <laughs> You're like, wow, really? <laughs> But seemingly he is doing wrong. You know it's not out as we do this, but yeah, you can yeah you can tell. I will probably pick it up in the new year when it's second hand yeah. and I don't have to pay full whack for it. If you'd have asked me three years ago, I probably would have pre-ordered the damn thing and maybe even got the special edition version of it. I'm really not interested in that now. I will still try it because of curiousness. Curiosity, that word. That's the word. That's, that's the, the word. word I need. But, yeah. That's kind of <laughs> where I am with being. it. Yeah. And just where I am with games in general, with the whole perfect, this is the best thing ever, this person who's involved with it can do no wrong, it's a perfect game. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's just not a thing. No, I do agree with you on that one. However, Sword and Shield will be the best game in the world. It's... But... It won't be a hundred percent. No, no, probably not. <laughs> yeah, it's And I mean uh, that in yeah. a nice way, but it won't be a hundred percent. And it shouldn't be a hundred percent. Because they should want to see something in that game and go, Oh, okay, maybe next time then we take that thing that we didn't go far enough with, because people really like it, and we make more of that. Or People weren't such a fan of that thing, so we'll take that away to improve on their experience for next time. Yeah, you should always be looking to improve. Yeah, rather than going, well, I did that great thing once ten years ago, so that's me done. <laughs> I don't need to do anything else. Mm. Yeah, it's it, yeah, I. Oh. <laughs> it's hard to tell without playing the, the new Death Stranding, but I do see what you mean. Mm. Are they claim? Are they themselves claiming that it's a great game? The people that have made it, like, are they saying, "Oh, this is perfect. This is amazing." The people, oh, no, you know, the beyond that, marketing. The people that made it aren't. No. Right. Okay. Well, at least that's something. It's more <laughs> weird people's opinions that think it's the best ever. Well, it's not even just weird people's opinions. It's gaming journalists. Oh, it's, reputable, it's reputable rep- sources. Yeah. It's it's. Apparently. Yeah. It's it's gaming websites and magazines that are attaching themselves to it and falling on the two camps of, oh my God, what the hell is this? Or, this is amazing. Wow, no other game can top <laughs> this. What <coughs> camp do you think you're going to be into? Mm. <laughs> I, I I know. <laughs> yeah, I I can well, understand. understand. See, some of them are saying there's no game like this, and there probably <laughs> Is isn't a game a like this. And I think that's intentional. Yeah. And that will polarize people because people will be, yes, this is exactly what I wanted from a game, or oh my god, what this isn't like anything I've played. I hate it. Yeah. I've got no issue with that, and because I don't think it's meant to be like anything else. That's the point of it. But I just there's no way this is a perfect game. Yeah. So to summarise today, <laughs> one of us really excited for a new game, one of us not that bothered. Yeah, I just to be honest, I can't <laughs> wait for twenty twenty. Oh, why is that? The well, um, because of all the other games I've been talking about recently that are uh, coming out. Yeah. Final Fantasy remake. Final Fantasy seven remake. Uh, Cyberpunk. 2077 and Last of Us Part 2 which we will have oh, to yes. wait a few months extra for annoyingly but we we will Last wait patiently yes yeah, coming out in ever. May or June I think now instead of February Last of Us I forgot about that yeah oh well <laughs> So right, I'll keep oh, reminding you over the next few months so to be honest 2019 has been a pretty naff year for games like yeah, new games. I, it's it's not been great. I preferred last year. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not been... No, I know what you mean, actually. And this will probably be Game of the Year. Oh, what, Death Stranding? I reckon so, yeah. Yeah, it's... Because it's got no proper AAA competition. Yeah. There's nothing... 
Yeah, I don't think Sword and Shield will win Game of the Year. It's not that kind of game. No, no, it's it's not marketed as that kind of game. Um, no. And I can't... Unless there was something earlier in the year that is really obvious that I'm missing, I can't think of anything that's kind of on this AAA calibre. Yeah. That could possibly compete with it. Right, OK. But if you'd have moved this to next year or previous year... There's no way mm-hmm. it's not beating God of War or Spider Man, and oh, next no. year it's not beating Cyberpunk or Last of Us Two. It would have taken a lot to beat God of War for a start, anyway. Yeah, and well, th- this I can't see this being it. No, but it would Definitely probably win same. this year because there's no competition. <laughs> there really isn't, is there? Hmm. It's going to be interesting to see what they nominate at the end of the year. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really trying to rack my brain to think if anything came out at the beginning of the year that's mm. on that kind of level, and I really can't think of anything. Are you going to do any live time Google searching? Uh, no, because I wouldn't really know what to Google. <laughs> games. <laughs> Google games. I'll just Google yeah. the word games 2019 and see what happens. <laughs> Might do, actually, is your... Uh, video games 2019 let's see what we get uh, anything no. interesting no the only thing that could be useful is a list of 100 best games of the decade but that's oh, going to be hmm. take too long for me to go through yeah I, <laughs> hmm, and there's no guarantee won't. that there's no guarantee that they'll include many from this year so yeah. yeah. Well, I, hmm, yeah, no, I don't think so. Not any, uh, not massive Switch oh, games this year either. Actually, well, I'm going to eat my words slightly. Ah, okay. Borderlands 3 and the Outer Worlds could potentially uh, rival it. Okay, yeah. Um, A Call of Duty mobile game, was that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, unfortunately it was a thing. Uh, and maybe Kingdom Hearts 3, that was out earlier this year. Oh, of course it was. Towards the beginning, but I just... Mm, I, I doubt they're going to be big enough. Yeah. It... I really doubt they're going to be big enough. As good as they like, the, were. The only, thing that, the only thing that might, and probably based on what I've seen, something that should win it is the Outer Worlds. Yeah. But... Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I can't call it. I'm only a. I. I. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I can only think of Nintendo entries, but there aren't really any. What big ones? Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> well, Sword Shield, Luigi's Mansion Three, Have Link's fun, Awakening yeah. are kind of the biggest ones. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought Link's Awakening would. No. Be game. It's a good game. Wouldn't have thought it'd be game of the year contender no. though. The problem is, um, Nintendo doesn't really fall into that category in the same way, does it? No, they've got. They always do well in the hat like family games category. I think that is one, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, they they should do. I mean, they should eat that for breakfast, really, shouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, pretty much. They That's should, they so should. their niche. It's not even really a niche, but you know what I mean. Yeah. They should. Because then, yeah, they'll clean up with things like Mario Maker. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sword and Shield, game. Luigi's Mansion, as I said, things like that. Which I will play eventually, mm. probably. Shame there isn't a demo for it, but that's fine. Well, they didn't need to be, did they? No. That's the thing. It's like um, Let's Go. The demos for that came out about six months after the game, didn't they? Yeah. No, they actually did. Yeah, because they didn't need to come out before, because people were going to buy it. <laughs> I was definitely going to buy it. Mm. I did buy it. Yeah, exactly. And so, I will... there we go. That That's kind of my rant. I promise I'll come <laughs> with something. What uh, Next time we talk in, in two weeks' time, obviously it will have been released, so there's no point in me beating this drum to death anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll get the social media reviews that way, won't you? The actual proper customer reviews. Yeah. So that's good. Hmm. 
and I would have played Sword and Shield, and I can tell you how, eh, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you about all the new Pokemon and everything. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I, r- I really hope for your sake you don't play that all weekend and go, oh. <laughs> Hopefully not. No. It seems like more to do anyway, so that should be good. Yeah. It'll be f- lovely. Cool. <laughs> all right, well, for this time, I'm going to say adios. Yes, I will probably say the same. Toodly, yes. toodly, toodly pipski. I'm going to go do some more editing and I shall talk to you again in a couple of weeks. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I've been holding that in for about three minutes. <coughs> <coughs> Let it all out. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. Uh, could you On that note. Just feel my voice going towards the end and I've just been really trying to hold that together. So I think that is a very good point to end <laughs> <laughs> there you go uh, yeah on, on that note <laughs> before we all die <laughs> yes well good good to listen good to talk good to Indeed. listen thank you all for listening if you've got this far yeah and we, yes we shall hear from you again soon indeed see you next time see you later thanks very much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up to keep up to speed with everything we're doing you can find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you wish to support us financially, you can do so over on Patreon for as little as $1 per month. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Till next time, we'll see you very soon. Goodbye.